and it, it sounds to me like honestly brian it's wild hearing you talk like that about like with impact and aw because we're so familiar with like the forbidden door being opened and you guys yeah all before my time yeah or after my time yeah <laughs> yeah you it, thank god that you were had such class and like didn't blow it up and and because who knows that whole relationship could have been ruined before it even <laughs> started if you would i mean I, about I, it. I mean sh- all right, too bad it could have started with me. I even said the joke. I, I couldn't believe it. Like when I was talking to uh, Ed Norholm too, who's like the actual owner of it uh, of Anthem. Um, I was arguing with them all, and I even told them like, "Look, this benefits you guys more than anybody. It's like it's an awesome opportunity for me, which benefits me, but it's like hugely. It's cool for AEW, but it really doesn't do much for them. But for me to walk out as Impact World Champion and decimate right. a bunch of the, their their roster and right. almost win the shot the title, like at this." Even if we never did anything again, the forbidden door never happened at all, period, ever. Right. Like, it still would make people go, oh, are Impact and AEW working together? Or are they going, you know, all these what ifs could you, have happened. You, you, you clearly get the business. I mean, you're right yeah. on the money, man. I mean, like, that, the buzz that would have been around that moment with you walking out with the belt around your waist. Um, oh, they even said that, too. Uh, I forgot about this because Scott and Don told me this afterwards. So they actually, when they were um, – trying to negotiate with Impact and let them do it. They're like, okay, look, if it's that much of an issue to you, like, we'll loan you guys Adam Page and have Cage go over on him on Impact then. Wow. And wow. Uh, they, they said no to that because they didn't believe that it would really happen. So huh. I was like, well, I was like, I mean, because I guess they could have said that and I had to follow through with it. But, mm-hmm. you know, there's still the possibility of it happening, whereas obviously if I don't do it, then there's no possibility of it happening. So, yeah, it just, it, it literally had nothing. The, Impact has nothing to lose from that at all, and everything to gain. True. So, and you said, I'm like, if I go out there and they're gonna put me over, even if I don't win, but they're gonna, you know, <laughs> let me shine all their talent. And if I lose a battle royal, no one's beating me. It's not because Impact champion. I'm just getting thrown on the top rope. Like, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't make you look weak by any stretch. And-